your helmet. I didn't start playing football until high school. Okay, then. Hey, uh, you ever think about your future in football? Where you might want to commit to? I became so popular that they wanted to do a documentary on me. Serves. You didn't start out playing football back then. So I decided to go with Michigan State. It's close to home, and the scholarship that they offer me is probably the best one. I was ready to prove to the world. But in the first quarter, I took a big hit, and from there on, I knew something was not right. I felt something snap in my shoulder, but I played through it. The adrenaline got to me, and a couple plays later, my entire season was over. I landed on my left throwing arm and I could not move it. The number one question all the scouts were asking me was would I be throwing because of my injury? And I haven't really thought about it like that because I just been for trying to forget about it. But during the NFL draft, I decided I'm gonna just run my 40 and hopefully that'll be enough. I wasn't really nervous because I know I'm an athlete, but I am wondering how will me not throwing affect my draft stock. But I line up and to nobody's surprise, I ran a 4-4-6. But my athleticism's never been in question. After my 40, a scout did come up to me and tell me, since I did not throw, that tremendously hurt my draft stock, and that I probably won't even get drafted. And what do you know, that scout was right. But even though I was undrafted, I got invited to go to camp with multiple teams. One being the Indianapolis Colts. Now you may notice the brace on my left elbow. That's because my arm and shoulder still not fully recovered. And it affected my playing ability tremendously. I had to force myself to play through it though, and I played terrible. And the coach was disappointed. And eventually, they cut me. Now on to the next team. We got invited to practice with the Chicago Bears. But you know their story. No offensive line, my bum shoulder. I didn't make it past three weeks. And the next team, I got invited to was the Tennessee Titans. Now I actually did good enough to make their practice squad, but nothing serious. But when my arm finally started to heal, I was starting to gain momentum. Due to them drafting Malik Willis, they felt like they didn't need me anymore. It's been five years since the draft. You would think, what have I been doing since then? I've tried out for multiple NFL teams, didn't make any of them. Well, I've just been door dashing, Ubering, you know. I feel like a retired athlete with nothing to do. But everything changed in the blink of an eye. You see, while I was door dashing, I had a chance to pull over to the side and I needed to actually go into the bank. I thought this was gonna be a normal day. I walk inside the bank, the line is long, the bank is busy, and I'm just trying to hurry up and get out of there, man, so I can start door dashing again. So I check my phone, and I check the time, and I'm like, man, I, I don't wanna wait on this long line. And as I'm walking out, a guy standing outside seemed to recognize me, told me to come over. He asked me, was I Justin Johnson? I told him I was. He said he was a scout for the Detroit Lions. He also mentioned that they were doing hard knocks and he would love to see if he can get me on the show and on the team. So he gave me his number and I put it in my phone. And I went on about my day. I tried to keep it cool, but I was really excited that I had maybe one last opportunity to prove that I could be a quarterback in the NFL, but only time will tell. So I go in for my meeting with the Detroit Lions. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. They all knew who I was, of course, because I played at Michigan State. And they were excited to have me there. I walk into the locker room, and they even had my jersey already picked out for me with my number one already in the locker room. Now, of course, I haven't officially made the team. 
but just the hospitality that they showed me meant so much. It's crazy because the last guy with the name Johnson became a Hall of Famer. Now, it was training camp time. Time to finally prove myself because this might be my last chance. And when I tell you I took advantage of it, I was hitting every throw that they gave me with perfect accuracy, perfect placement. I did not come to play around this time. Like I said, this could have been my last chance and I made the most of it. I hit every pass that they gave me and I could tell that they were impressed. Coach could not stop raving about me. And after the practice, the coach met up with me to tell me that I would be starting the first preseason game of the season. And I could not wait. Confident as ever, I walk out of the tunnel during my warm-ups. Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Falcons and the Lions, next on Madden Football. Downtown between Blush Street and Otto. Let's get it, boys. It's the first preseason game of the 2022 season with the Detroit Lions, and they're allowing me to start the first game. Look at Justin Johnson out there warming up. Hopefully, we can have a great first game and show them why we need to be the starting quarterback. Do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, you know, so you can get more of this. We got to get into this game here. This is our... This is our first drive professionally on the Detroit Lions. It is on All Madden, so excuse me if I make any mistakes. You know how All Madden works as we go in for our first play of the game, handing it off to DeAndre Swift, trying to see what he can do. Second and seven on our own 28-yard line. We try to pass out to the left side. It gets tipped out of the defender. Third and seven since we could not complete the last pass, and we're throwing it behind our receiver. We're going to go three and out We're on our first drive. You know, like I said, this is my first time playing face of the franchise. This camera view is crazy. But here we go with our second drive of the game. Hopefully, this time we can actually gain some yardage here. We go first and ten. Getting pressured here by the defensive line as we try to get a pass off. And I feel like I'm making all the right throws. I just got to get the timing with the accuracy down because we missed a big opportunity there and this pass rush is just crazy so when we get another three and out here we didn't do anything at all this is our third drive coming down the field giving it to deandre swift for the first care uh for a second carry of the game here we finally get a great throw here with a first down here first and ten what can we make happen look at that beauty of a throw threading the needle down the middle second and 13 Find a little crossing routes. You feel me? I'm throwing dots. I'm starting to get a rhythm here. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm starting to get a rhythm here with these crossing routes. You know what I'm saying? I, it's just going to take some time here. But we cannot get the first down. So it's fourth and one here. We're getting our feet wet here. Like I said, we, it's been a while since we played. But we do simulate to the end of the game as we do take a loss. You know, we only scored 20 points. 38 to 20. The Falcons do get a win. Now we go to our stats. We threw four for nine for 37 yards and no touchdown. After the game, the coach met up with me just to tell me that he was impressed by what he saw. You know, like I said, it was my first game against a real pass rush. And he was proud of me. Of course, they already know what I can do athletically. I just gotta get, you know, the playbook together and the game plan down and I'll be straight from there. But that is going to do it for this video here. If you guys, like I said, liking the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you want episode three, 